introduces to you first. Fighting out of the blue corner. He weighs in at 77.3 kilograms, kilograms and trains under Ryan Gray at a scrappy MMA, MMA with a one fight amateur career. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Elias Strata! And introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. He weighed in at 76.1 kilograms and trains under Dave Johnson at a strike MMA with a two-fight amateur career. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the cage, Hayden the Hyena Miller. And when our action begins, our referee in charge, Matt Quinn. Matt Wynn, a very good and experienced referee, one of the best in Australia, mind you. And uh, our final instructions to get our card underway. And they touch gloves and we are ready to go. And again, uh, what I love about Hayden Miller's energy is really uh, you know, lapping up the, uh, the atmosphere and um, no better place to do it. So let's see how that transfers now if he comes out, comes out hard. Exactly. So no touch of gloves. Uh, Miller <laughs> comes out uh, with the uh, leg kick to start off with. So we know they've competed in grappling, so it's interesting uh, that Hayden's already throwing the leg kick. He's not scared of, uh, of being taken down, it seems. And he's finding that jab. This matchup presented by proper number 12, Irish Whiskey. But yeah, they've both landed shots early, so it's going to be interesting to see how, how they approach it, and we know, and, and when Elias, if he does, he's going to engage the grappling. Stoughton's trying to uh, establish that jab early. Oh, nice, uh, like it, like yeah, it nice, there car, nice calf kick there. Even with those, those, those small shin pads, you still, they're going to add up. They're definitely going to add up over time. That guy's looking very comfortable early in the piece. But yeah, it's very, Miller's at least setting up his, uh, those combos nicely. He's leading that, that inside kick and then throwing the hands off it. Oh, there there's the takedown attempt. He gets it straight away. Very nice the work pass, by Stroughton. Passes straight to side control. And let's, this is going to be interesting to see now. How, how does Hayden Miller react here? They've competed, but yeah, again, standing straight up. And for MMA, that's exactly where you want to be. Going to try and get the takedown again, Daniel. This is gets traditional uh, scrappy style. Stratton's uh, is just relentless, especially with any of the cage. Those guys from Scrappy MMA are, are non-stop. And this is where Hayden, especially, you can see that great cross face from, from Elias. This is where Hayden, if he keeps struggling to get up, this is where he's going to get tired. And now Elias guys got very setting up a camps. triangle here. There's set up a triangle perfectly. And then this is where Hayden needs to, he, he needs to posture up here. And if Elias can, can cut the angle here to his right and hook that leg, he's going to lock it in very tightly. He's trying to get out of it, uh, Miller. But this is where Elias could, could utilise that hook. But Hayden's done well. He's turning the right way. But this is where if Elias does use this, he can use this to set up a, a scramble. They go to the Omoplata. This would be amazing if he can hit this. But even if he can't, this way, yeah, you utilise it to scramble and stay on top position there. It's not worse. Uh, nice work by Miller. Looked like he was a bit of trouble with but that But here triangle. we go. That's it. Hayden's pushing the pace to scramble, exposing his back, and Elias is uh, beautifully transitioned there. And this is where now he can, he can break him down, obviously, physically and, and mentally over time and tire him out. But this is where he just wants to stay composed. He's got, looks like he, that kill arm's there, and that, this is going to be this is going to be over quick if he doesn't defend that kill arm. Hayden really needs to try get rid of that kill arm that's across his across his chin because he could realistically finish even from there. Got ten seconds to uh, get the finish, otherwise we're going through a round two. Right, nice. This is a and this is there. a great round for for Elias, and uh, he's had a lot of great opportunities here in the grappling. And we spoke to both guys in the lead up, and you know, one guy was going to try and take it down, the other guy was going to try and keep it on the feet. And well, it's very close. He's got, he hasn't got much time to work, and he gets away with it. That was what very a, close. Yeah, and, uh, it's a great way to finish the round in the, in the judges' eyes. That win gets them back underway. Crowd uh, cheer once again. But this is where you need Elias. To, he needs to put. I mean, Elias wants to come forward. Hayden really needs to keep Elias on his back foot because if you're shooting off your back foot, you're going to expend more energy and it's obviously a lot harder to, to complete the takedown. But this is where Hayden is trying now to, to dictate the space, but he's getting tagged. Mouth guard came out. Came out. 
Goes straight back in and they touch gloves. Resume the action. Like a nice jabs there by Miller. Nice overhand right yeah. there by Stroughton's. He's throwing that well because Hayden knows he needs to push space and he's just stepping back and throwing that overhand and straight, which is working very nicely. It's where the opening there was there for Miller on the uh, on the, the counter. Didn't take advantage of it. Where Miller's been best early in the round when he was throwing combinations. When he throws one or two shots, it just allows Elias to, to trade back. But if he throws three or four, and there we go, this is a confidence boost for Hayden. He needs to disengage. See, this is the problem. He, he had the space and then he... And this is where exactly where Elias wants to be. And Miller was definitely wary of that takedown. And, uh, and he's working hard to get back up. But that's, you can tell where Stroughton wants to fight. And mm. who can blame him after round one? But as long as, as as long as Hayden can build up from here, he just needs to make sure he knows. If he can build up, Stroughton's is going to shoot back in. You need a circle off the cage. And he's done well. This is a confidence boost for him. But Elias is using his jab well. He's using that jab and following up with that overhand. And this is where, where Elias is coming forward against the cage. This is where we're going to see him strongest. Yeah, Strawn's having a bit of success on the feet now, which is mm. uh, very worrying signs for Miller. Well, that's what happens. When you when you start being worried about this, the takedown, the grappling, the hands generally tend to, to lower because you want them closer to the hips to defend that takedown. Miller trying to find a space for that jab but he is still he's wary of that takedown and it comes there by Strawton's and he gets it down to the mat up against the cage again but this is where he needs Hayden really needs to be careful not exposing his back and this is where Elias he's as you can see he's passed already he can he can posture up here and punch and make Hayden really work and this is where he can really grind him and tire him out and, and there we go there's the back exposure he's looking for and this is uh, as bad as it can get for Hayden here. Let's see how he can fight the hands and, and if he can just try stand up and, and shake him off. Said he ran out well, of time in round one, but he's got um, the, here comes the tap probably. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. Great work by Elias Jordan. Gets his first win in MMA and isn't he excited in front of the crowd here at HBF Stadium in Perth, Western Australia. Well, ladies and gentlemen, our referee, referee Matt Wynn has called a stop to this fight at, at 2 minutes 28 seconds of round number two. two. Declaring your winner by a submission due to a rear naked choke in the blue corner. Hello.